everyone, Amanda here. So I'm just coming to share some really quick and easy journal charms with you. Um, super simple to make, nice and sturdy, perfect to hang off your projects or a page on your journal. So I'm using this sheet from my new um, Victorian Yuletide, I nearly forgot the name of my own kit. Um, Victorian Yuletide and this is in the add-on kit. Um, and we've got these lovely circles. So what I had in mind when I made these circles was to make little charms and embellishments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the smaller ones and then obviously the larger ones, it speaks for itself. So, we'll just cut that strip out. Okay. Now we're going to leave it in a strip because we're going to do the full lamination. <laughs> Obviously, I've not invented it. It's been around for years, but um, it's a great idea. So I print um, my embellishments on cardstock, lightweight cardstock, 200 GSM. I do use Navigator, but it doesn't matter what the brand is. I only use that because it's cheap for the amount that you get, and it's good quality. That's going to go offline now. I've not stuck it on. Um, <laughs> I've not stuck it on straight. Just a minute. I'll do it in two bits because I was talking I've not stuck it on straight and if I carry on uh, that kind of a uh, um, angle it's going to go off so I'll do that one separate that's what you get for talking too much it's one of my downfalls okay so then cut it off now I will also say that this wider tape, and I'll tell you the measurement of it, if you can get hold of it, it's super useful, it's two inches, because it will also work on the Christmas mixed embellishment kit, um, ephemera kit that I did. We've got these little tags here, little tiny squares of beautifulness and they, this will work on those as well so if you cut them out in strips like I've just done and do them a few at a time and then you can absolutely use your tape on those as well to give them a glossy finish if you so desire you might not want to <laughs> right -o. so I'm just going to trim that down get rid of some of the sticker okay just trim some of the sticky off because you don't, those scissors are absolutely, I need to clean them and sharpen them, they're not, they're not cutting. Okay, so then I am lucky enough to have quite a selection of punches in uh, varying sizes. Um, so they happen to be stamping up, I used to um, sell stamping up years ago, so I've got a lovely collection. But you can pick punches up fairly cheap on Amazon, um, okay, if you don't have the exact sizes I have, um, because some of the ones I'm using are in small increments, just use whatever. Uh, the idea is to just layer. So we're starting with a one inch, because that's the size of the actual circles, okay. And so that is going to give you a laminated circle. No need to put glossy accents on. It's already done. Okay, I'll just do two. Right, so. Then you need to, or what I've chosen to do, is layer up with both gold mirror board. Try not to show my reflection. <laughs> and um, some craft card, which I'm using throughout the journal. So with the gold mirror board, we want to go up the next size. So I've got a 1 and 1 eighth. If you don't have 1 and 1 eighth, which is quite a small increment, it's 1 and a quarter. Okay? So 1 and 1 eighth. I'll do 2. Now one tip for when you are gluing onto mirror board is avoid glue whenever possible. If you can, use tape. So I'm just going to use some double sided tape because then you're not going to get gunky glue um, showing on your mirror board because it, it can look a little bit pants um, and if you're a bit heavy handed like I am then you don't want it. Now although we've got the tape on there you can still just ink the edge so you've not got that white border 
Okay, so I've done some with and some without. It's personal taste, you don't have to. In fact, I'll do one with and we'll do one without. So that one's got the tape on and that one hasn't. Okay, so I'll put that one to one side. So I'll put tape on the back of this one as well. So I've already got tapes. This has been inked. So this is just normal cardstock and that one's been um, full laminated. So just take your backing off. I'll do two at once and then you get in double bubble. I mean shut. <laughs> and then carefully place that on. Now I'm not very good at centering things unless my face is right over them so mine might be a bit wonky that one's a bit wonky let me see if I can try that again because that one really is very wonky bear with me I'm not very good at that you know centering layered uh, things like this my eyes are wonky <laughs> so we'll do this one as well okay all right, and then we go, so we go gold, craft, and then we're going to go gold again. So for the craft, that was a one and one eighth. We're going to go one and a quarter. So we'll do two. Okay. Ink that, ink it up. Ink it, ink it, ink it. It just looks nicer if you ink it. Okay, so that's that one. And put tape on the back of there again. And because you're layering the, you know, you've got layers of cardstock, it's going to look pretty, but also it's going to be ultra sturdy. So it's going to be nice and, you know, it's not going to be a flimsy charm, even though it's just made out of card, it's going to be substantial. So let me just try and not get my hair in the shot and try and get that. Just what's moving over a bit. And get that there we go that's more or less straight and this one so you know when you've bought your kit you don't need to go out and then start and buy loads of things to go with it make things with the kit make your own embellishments make your own everything um, use what you've got have a look. If you're a crafter, you've probably got more than you realise. <laughs> right, so then we're going to go up with the gold mirror board. Now I've got a 1 and 3 8, which is kind of in between size. So it's going to give me a really nice tiny little increment. If you don't have these, then your next size would be uh, 1, 1 and a quarter, 1 and a half, yeah? But I've got the in between is. Um, with the one eighth and the three eighths, so I want two of those for each charm because we're going to double side them so that when the charms swiveled round, you've still got gold at the back. Okay, so we're going to use tape here on the back of the layers we've got at the moment. Sorry if you can hear my dogs, it's, fire, it's firework season isn't it, so they're not happy bunnies. Um, so let's get that off of there and get that one off of there. And then layer those again on your mirror board. Let me put it down and see if I can do it. Put it down carefully and then move it before it sticks. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm in shot. Because <laughs> it's only a little project. I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so that's that. Then we've got the two that are going to go at the back. Now with these, it is best to use glue. Just be very careful. Okay, use the finest tip glue bottle that you've got or be very, very careful so that it doesn't splodge out. But the reason we're using glue on this layer and we haven't on the others is that I've used a scalloped one. So because mine's scalloped, I need to line it up. So to line it up, um, I'm going to need to have some wiggle room. So that's why I've used wet glue just on this one layer. Okay. There we go. 
There we go, that's that one. And this one. You'd be surprised how sturdy these are. They're better than anything that you can buy. Um, because you've already, if you've purchased the kit, you've already got the images. And uh, who doesn't have card? If you haven't got gold mirror card, you can just use a different colour. And just have, pick two colours. You could have red and green. Or you could have red and craft or anything. Just pick two colours and alternate them. And that's how you'll get a nice look. Okay, so there you go. And then what I do do is I just go around the edge. That's just me being fussy with some distressing to hide the white core of the card. And then we're going to punch our little hole. Now wait until they dry if you're doing it. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Um, so I'm using, if you've got the crop, cropper dial, you've got two sizes of punch. Use the smallest, which I believe is 2mm. I think the other one's 4mm. Um, so use the smallest one and in the centre punch yourself a hole. Now I don't have small eyelets, so I'm just going to omit them. Um, it, this is sturdy enough, it doesn't have to have an eyelet, but if you've got them, then fine. But I wouldn't, um, on, it's up to you, but I wouldn't use the larger hole because then the eyelet's going to be overbearing on the project. Okay, so then just get your, your doodads. Let's have a look if I've got one. Um, I've got another two. Now, if you are really talented, um, clearly I'm not, um, you can punch a hole at the bottom as well, okay, and use your jump rings and add some dangler beads. I really can't do beading. I can't get the jump rings right, my hand-eye coordination is just not there enough to do beading. That's Kay's job. Um, <laughs> Kay does the, all my beading stuff, um, gifts me any, any pretty... Um, journal charms with beads on my friend Kay has given me because I just can't do it so I keep mine as basic as possible okay um, so there you go and then listen can you hear sturdy as anything um, beautiful so you know don't go out buying your embellishments persevere and make your own um, you know they t turn out far better anyway so there you go Thanks for watching. Hope you I hope that helps and I hope you'll give it a try. Bye for now.